Hey guys, it's Kane here. Welcome to the channel again. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you uh, about increment and decrement operators, which are uh, a very important part of programming. And I think you're gonna see these statements quite a lot, especially when you write uh, for loop structures in the upcoming uh, lectures. So what is an increment and decrement operator? So an increment operator essentially is uh, putting two plus plus signs, as you can see in here, and the purpose is to increase a value uh, by one. Now, one of the first things you should know that you don't have to increase the value by one, you can increase it as much as you want, but the most common practice you will encounter in increment and also in decrement operators is either increasing the value by one or decreasing it. Now, the way that you write this changes quite a lot. So you can say, for example, defining a value integer i equals to 2 and i is equals to i plus 1. Or what you could do is you can write i plus plus or plus plus i. And this entire operation is called the increment operation. And you can do the same thing with the decrement one. So assuming that the value is i uh, minus 1 in this case, and then you can write it as i minus minus or minus minus i. Now, the problem with this is where you put the operator, because according to the place of you put the operator, the operation order changes. So if the operator sign is in front of the variable, this is called a pre-increment operator. And it means that you're going to increase the value first before you do anything else. And if you put the operator sign after the value, you're going to take the current value and increase it after every other operation. And this will be called as the post increment. The same also goes for the decrement operator. If the values that you see minus minus is after the variable, it is called a post decrement, which means you're going to do the decrease from that specific value uh, after you deal with every other operation within that statement. And you're going to do the opposite, which means you're going to increase the value, decrease the value as soon as you see it, if you put the operator sign in front of the value. So essentially, all the values in here saying 2 plus 1 in this case this will be 3 this will be 3 and this will be 3 eventually however the way that you uh, place it changes quite a lot especially when other operators come into the uh, scene so let's have a look at how this is uh, this can work so i wrote a, a specific uh, program before just to show you how this can work Assume that we have two different values, a and b, and the initial value of a is 5 and the initial value of b is 3. We're going to put some increment and decrement operators here to see the outcome of it. As you practice and put uh, a value, a plus 1, this will automatically put the value 5 here, plus 1, which will display you three, uh, 6. So this will actually display the value of 6 here. However, this value will not be permanently changing the value of a. Remember that when you put this like that, a plus 1, the value of a is still 5. So you didn't permanently change anything. If you want to change the value of a to 6, you need to initially write it as a is equals to a plus 1. And then if you print out the value of A, you will see that that value permanently changes. Now, afterwards, when you put the pre and the post increment statements, these also change the value. Because when you put the post increment, this will show the value first and then increase it, which is also regarded as the post increment. And this will actually increase the value first and then show it. In this case, if the value of A is 6, it will first show the value. So when you come here, you will see 6 and 6 as well. 
However, after this operation, the value of A will be 7. So it means that when you go to the next line, which is increase the value first and show it, it will immediately increase the value, which was 7, now it's going to be 8, and then it will display it. So this will be something like 6, 6, 6, and 8. And it will show that uh, on the screen. So let's just put everything else into comments and try to run it. Once again, before I run it, the value of A is 5, A plus 1, 6. And because this is not a permanent equation, the A value is still 5 here. And only when you initialize the value of A is equals to A plus 1, in this case 5 plus 1, then it, the value of A will be 6. Now you can show the 6 value, but when you go to the next line, this says that first show the value, because the statement comes after the variable. This means that you gotta show it first and after you do the operation. In this case, in the previous statement, the value of A was 6 and here you will display 6. Although, after this line, the value will be 7. And when you come here, when you say plus plus A, because the previous value of A was 7, now it's gonna be increasing by 1 automatically and the value will be 8. So when we run this application, you can see that the values are 6, 6, 6, and 8. Now let's go and do the rest of the statement. When you see the value of P now, initially this was 3, and if you want to subtract the value, P minus 1, then you can initialize to 2. But unless you specifically state this, which is b is equals to b minus 1, it will actually never change the value of p, because there is no initialization in here. So once you have done the initial statement, equalize this equation to do, assign it to the value of p, then you can display the value as 2. Now when you put minus minus, this will automatically decrease the value by 1, then show it. So this was 2, so in here it will decrease it immediately by 1, make it 1, and display 1 again. However, when you go to the next line, the value is regarded as 1, so you will display 1, but then after displaying it, you will show the value as 0. So when you come here, the value will be as 0. So this means that 2, 2, 1, 1, and 0. So let's just uh, compile it and run it to see what the outcome. So 2, 2, 1, 1, and 0. So to summarize, what we have done in here is that a pre and a post increment or decrement statement changes how you perceive these uh, statements. Essentially, they all increase or decrease a value, but according to where you put the operator sign, it changes uh, the operations a bit. So when you put a plus one, unless you initialize it, this value actually never changes. And when you put the operator afterwards, it will take the current value, then do the operation. And if you put it in front of the vari variable, then it will immediately do the operation and show it. And the same goes for the decrement statement. If you put the operator sign in front of the variable, it will immediately do uh, the operation and show the result. But when you put it afterwards, it will show the current value and do the operation afterwards. So this is the core of increment and decrement operators. I hope it was clear to you and I'll see you guys in the next video.